Hello, it is Raphael from XX Raphael Productions. And that is the song I'm going to be showing you how to play today. Prosthetic Head by Green Day. Very simple song, but one thing I would like to mention before we start learning is the timing of the song, which you might have to listen to the song a few more times to get the timing right, because the timing here is crucial, but the chords themselves are easy to learn. So just a disclaimer before we begin the video. Um, the guitar is actually set to standard tuning, so be sure to set your guitar to standard before you start learning because the chords we'll be using here are um, suitable for standard tuning. So the guitar sound will have a clean sound as well for the verses, but for the chorus, we'll be having a distorted sound for the chorus, but don't worry about that for now because we're going to start by learning the intro, so be sure to power off your effects before we start dwelling into the first chord. So the very first thing we need to play is an E. Alright, and the way we can do that, take your index finger and we're going to go ahead and bar the seventh fret. So I will zoom in so you can clearly see the way the E chord looks like. Um, so bar the seventh fret. We're going to take our ring finger and we're going to go ahead and um, put it on the D string, which is going to be in the ninth fret, and also our pinky finger directly underneath that, which should be the G string. So make sure the sound is exactly like this before you proceed. Now the intro will be. If you notice, we leave out the A chord on the last one, so make sure also to um, remember the timing as well as I said earlier, because um, that is crucial to not only the intro but also the verses. It's pretty much the exact same. Let me tell you that right now. So notice the way I strum as I play the intro. I do. So the E, once you got the E down, you're going to go ahead and play a B. The way you can do that is very simple. Just go ahead and we're not going to move our hand at all. The only thing we're going to do is put our two fingers, so our ring finger and our pinky finger, and simply move them one string above. So I will zoom in so you can see the difference. You can also um, you can also do this. Your middle finger you can put it down on the um, on the G string if you want to, but it does not really need it because the things we'll be strumming are the first three strings or even the first two strings really. So, but if you want your hand to be in a more comfortable position, you can also do it like this, or you can just simply do. Notice how my middle finger isn't really um, affecting the sound, but if you want your hand to feel comfortable, you can do it like that as well. Both ways are correct. So after you've got E and after you've got B down, I'm gonna go ahead and also go to the um, fifth fret. So from the seventh fret, move your glide your hand down to the fifth fret and we're gonna play a D. All right, so. Simply do it that way, and we're gonna go ahead and play a D on major. So now I want you to notice the way I play here and here, these two areas, the way I play is exactly the same. So straight, same strumming pattern and the exact same um, movement. So play a D again, but just just like the way you play the E, simply move it up two frets. So, the way you play an A, simply the same thing, bar the 5th fret, we're going to go ahead and, from the D, we're going to go ahead and move up 
And again, the middle finger is not really necessary unless you want your hand to be comfortable because we are again playing the first two strings of the um, guitar as we play the song. So. And once you've got that down, that is the whole intro. So the next thing we're gonna do is the verses. So let me show you how that will go down. So intro first. Then here it comes. Now did you notice the intro chords and the verses are the exact same? The only thing really different is for the intro, you end it like this. Then you play the rest of that. So once you've got the intro down, you've pretty much got the verses down. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the chorus now. And for this, I'm gonna turn in my turn on my um amp, not my amplifier, my distortion. And we're gonna go ahead and start with the B first. So let me go ahead and show you how that will sound like. Gonna go. So that's the chorus, all right. So we're gonna play. The only thing really different here is that. The um, pre-chorus is going to be strumming with a B. So pretty much the inverse of what we did last time. For the intro and the verses, we went from E to B. For the pre-chorus, we are going B to E only. So it's pretty much the same thing, just inverted. So. Now, like I said before, the timing here is crucial. You only strum, you only strum the E chord actually one time throughout this whole pre-chorus. So it goes. You notice how the moment I strum E, I, imme I immediately go back to B. The timing can get confusing, so be sure to familiarize yourself with that first. But once you've got that down, you're gonna go ahead and play the chorus with the exact same chords as you use for the verses. So, you only turn off your distortion once you're done with the chorus. So, although the chords remain the same, the chorus requires distortion to play. But, like I said before, once you've mastered the verses and the intro, you've got the chorus down. The only really new thing you need to learn would be the pre-chorus, which goes like... Once you've got all that down, you've pretty much got 95% of the song. The only thing left to learn, really, is the bridge, where you will go... Alright, that is the only, really, the only thing that, that differs from the rest of the song, actually. Um, the chords themselves are not hard to learn. There's only a new chord, which is the F sharp, that I will show you how to play later, but um, the timing here is actually crucial. So I want you to notice, before I teach you the chords, I want you to notice my strum pattern as I play this. You notice that, so um, again, the chords will be in the screen right now, but let's go ahead and show you how it's done. So start with a B, this is after the second chorus, you start with a B, and we're gonna go ahead and go down to an E. So an A, now this is the F sharp, the new chord we have to learn. So 
pretty much nothing is different really. F sharp, the same way you play the B is the exact same way you play the F sharp. The only difference is you're gonna play up here in the second fret. So don't change your fingers at all. Simply move that up and remain as it is. So it will be like. That's how an F sharp sounds like when it's standard tuning like this. So go ahead and play it again. We're gonna go with B. I'll actually play it slower so you can see very clearly my um, chord progression and the changes. So. Now, that is the slow version, just so I can show you effectively how it's done, but if you got that chord mastered, well, this is the original tempo, you're gonna play it like this. Okay. And that is pretty much it. Once you've got that down, simply repeat the exact same thing like we like before. We're gonna turn off our distortion and play. And then we're gonna play the chorus one last time. It will be like. You pretty much end on an E, alright? That's how you end prosthetic kit. So once you've got all that mastered down, that is the entire song. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. Uh, I will be sure to do some more Green Day and Blink 182 guitar tutorials in the future. Actually, I might release a new one this week, depending on my schedule, as it's Thanksgiving break and I have plenty of time to. So that is prosthetic head. Um, like I said before, the timing is the only actual challenge in this song. The chords themselves are easy to learn. Um, be sure to go ahead and pause the video or you can actually scroll back as well to know how some of the chord progressions work in this song. It's a very nice song that I feel is underrated even by Green Day fans really. They don't really, I don't really see the song mentioned too much when I talk to people but that is how you play the song. So if this video helped you out, leave a like and subscribe and also suggest a song in the comments if you want to. I am actually open to suggestions and I will see you in my next video.